Um, what I really wanna do is uh, spend some time going over how to use Audacity, all right? Um, most people, it seems, are using um, uh, Zoom, right, to, uh, to create your audio file, with maybe a couple exceptions if you're there together, you know, in person, sort of recording your, your conversation live, that's, you know, that will be a little bit different. But if you're using Zoom, right, and you want to get it into Audacity and use Audacity, this is the class for you, okay? <laughs> so, um, most people are using Zoom. If you're not using Zoom, right, to get gather your um, the audio, put it in the chat, okay? If you're not using Zoom, um, put put that point in the chat. I just want to know, kind of in general, who who is and who isn't. I think most people are using Zoom based on what we heard from last class period, okay? Um, yeah. So some people are just doing it directly in Audacity. Yeah, and that's perfectly fine. Didn't use Zoom. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, if anybody else um, didn't use Zoom, then then let me know. But this is so this is mostly for folks who are using Zoom and for people who want to edit with Audacity. OK, um, so I created this little uh, handout here, which I encourage you to kind of, you know, to open up um, and follow along with. I'm mostly going to be screen sharing with you so that I can show you how to do this. All right. Um, so one thing to keep in mind when you're working with Zoom, right, is that Zoom downloads audio, it creates its audio as a file called M4A, right? So when you download your Zoom audio to your computer, and there it is, um, it's in a fo file format called M4A, all right? Um, which isn't something you can easily import into any tool. It's like a weird Zoom thing, right? <laughs> it's not a real a weird Zoom thing, but it's but it's not you know really compatible with lots of other platforms. All right, so um, that means you're going to have to do a little bit of conversion, okay, in order to get it into um, Audacity. All right, everybody got that idea in in their heads? Give me like a thumbs up or something on the on the Zoom. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so I, I just want to be sure that that everybody is sort of with me. Okay, so can I just get a check in? Are y'all all with me? Let me let me see put a reaction in the zoom. Uh, if you are with me. All right, Jabril is here, Benji. Y'all are all here. We uh, <laughs> There's a Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. All right. Sarah and okay, there are a couple people who might who that might have gone. Um, uh, it might have might have dissipated quickly, but uh, too quickly for me to see. But um, it looks like a good number of people are with me. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is do a little bit of conversion with this. It's very simple. Do not freak out. This is a life skill. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So there are there are two ways to go about this. Right. There are two ways to go about this. One way is to add the library to Audacity to ensure that Audacity can actually directly import M4A files, okay? That might be a little complicated if, if you're not comfortable with technology. I've put the details here, okay? But the simplest thing really is using a tool called VLC, okay? If you've ever heard of VLC, give me a reaction in the Zoom. Okay, if you've ever heard of VLC, give me a reaction in the Zoom. It's got a, um, it's got its logo is this little, this little, um, yeah, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, it's it's um it's a it's a really very common, well known um, audio and video tool, and it does awesome things with converting. So if you ever get yourself into a situation where you need to convert one format to another format, and it has anything to do with audio and video, use VLC. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to show you how to how to do this because it's really simple. If you are more tech savvy and you want to know how to download that um, that um, uh, library, the FFmpeg library, and install it into Audacity, you can totally do that too. Okay, um, this is a really clear uh, sort of set of how tos. Okay, um, but I'm going to do it with VLC because that's really simple. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is download and install VLC. It's a free, um, uh, really, you know, well-recognized um, uh, media player. Okay, 
Uh, it's cross-platform compatible. All of the library and uh, Marymount uh, labs uh, have it on their computers. Okay, so you just click download VLC and install it. Okay, and once you do that you will uh, be able to open it up. So let me, um, let me open it up uh, and share that with you. Uh, I'm not sure where my VLC is right now. Um, I might've closed it, hang on a sec. I'm gonna open it back up and uh, share. VLC, all right. So, um, so here's my VLC when, when it opens. Um, it's pretty generic. It's like, what is this thing? I don't even know. <laughs> Uh, but don't worry about this, right? Um, so it's a media player primarily, but it also does really cool stuff with conversion. So to convert something, what you wanna do is go up here to file, and that's noted in the list that I gave you, okay? Go up here to file and click convert, right? And this will open up another folder, sorry, another a pop-up, right? Um, right? that says convert and stream, okay? And all you do is you can drag and drop, but you can also just open up your media, navigate to your M4A thing. And I just went to .M4A because, oops, sorry. M4A because, you know, I know that's here. So this is my um, audio only .M4A. This is how Zoom will download it, okay? Um, so you grab that, all right? and uh, you click open, okay? So now that's there, you wanna choose your profile. You have lots of different ways you can convert things, okay? But you wanna click audio MP3. You wanna turn this into an MP3, that's it, okay? And then you click your destination, right? Um, you wanna save as file, okay? You, you're gonna have to choose an output location. So, you know, if you have a folder where all your stuff is, that's cool. Maybe you just wanna stick it in your downloads, wherever, just make a note of it, right? Give it a title that's something like converted Zoom audio, right? And I'm gonna save it, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna click save and it's gonna do its thing, all right? It's converting right now. That's what, um, that's what you see the, uh, uh, the little thing is, is converting. Um, uh, okay, so um, so once you've done that, right? Where's my, oh, okay. So once you've saved that, okay, you will have an MP3 file of your audio that you can just boom, import into Audacity as in six above here, okay? Any questions on that part of it? VLC is super handy, okay? Um, all right, so now we wanna edit stuff in Audacity, okay? We wanna just edit some stuff on Audacity. And you can click this, um, this uh, you can click into this form too, this, sorry, this, um, this Google Doc, if you want to sort of download it or follow along with it. Um, let me just share it with y'all in the chat too. Um, so uh, what you're going to want to do is open Audacity after you've already installed it. So you have to install it. Okay. So you're going to open Audacity. And the first thing I want you to do is just familiarize yourself with the interface. All right. So if you have Audacity installed on your computer, go ahead and do that now, right? So that you can walk along with this. I'm recording this. So you'll be able to review it later too. Okay. There's some things I want you to note like the track info pane, and I'll show you where all this stuff is, the controls at the top of the screen, the cursor options, uh, and the main navigation panel at the very top of the window, okay? So let me show you where those things are in Audacity. I wish there's a way to like switch between shared windows. I don't really know how to, how to do that, but... Um... All right, so here's Audacity. I've, I've been doing some editorial work. Um, you can ignore that. Um, I'm gonna, I can do this all, all over again um, anyway. It doesn't really, I'll just delete everything, okay? So when you first open Audacity, it will open with um, a, a, a track here, okay? But this is the main screen, right? I'm gonna add a, a track just because, um, you know, that's what you'll see, okay? So, so this is the main Audacity screen. There are a couple things just to notice. Over here, this is the little track info pane, okay? So you can mute this track if you want. 
you can um, mute everything else and just listen to this one if you want and so on. You can also delete it just by going to the X, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna add a new track, okay? Most podcasts are mono, but any audio that you pull in like, um, like good sound, right? To work with from something like CC Mixter will be, um, uh, will be in stereo, but I'll talk to you about that in just a second, okay? So you have your track here and you've got your little track info pane. You've also got some um, uh, um, buttons up here, okay? To pause, to play, to stop, and to record, right? So if you're like um, uh, Pierre and, and Zach, um, they recorded directly in Audacity, okay? So you just click this and la 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 la, I'm recording, okay? So there you go. Um, he, this little thing right here is useful. It's the cursor pane. In particular, I want you to note that it defaults to this one, the selection tool, the little cursor tool. But this might also be useful for you, which is the zoom tool, OK? So if you need to magnify right, your waveform, or if you need to um, uh, shrink it, right? you have to, um, clicking the mouse will magnify it. And I'm holding shift click. To, to minimize it. So you can see how it changes from um, plus to minus here, okay? Um, okay, so this is Audacity. There's also this, um, you can't really see it because I'm not sharing my desktop. Let me share my desktop with you so you can see the whole thing. All right, um, so do you see the whole desktop now? Should, okay. Um, up here in Audacity, okay, you'll see the file this is the, these are the, um, the sort of main tools up here, okay? So this is the other place that you wanna notice, all right? So um, now I've got my audio in MP3 format. I'm gonna pull it in to Audacity. So I'm gonna go to File. I'm gonna go to Import Audio, all right? And I wanna find that MP3. Um, I can't remember what I called it, right? But it was something like, um, let's see. Uh, Zoom audio, right? Is it Zoom audio? But I'm search. I don't want to start Zoom audio. What was it? It was M4A. So I'm just going to search for that. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Um, maybe is it is it in downloads? There it is. Okay, I forgot to put MP3 on the end of that. So. Two thirty one mp3 that's the that's the thing yes i need to add that okay so here's my audio now i'm going to pull this in right i'm going to open this up and it's going to pull it all in okay and there it is okay so you'll notice that this is like a stereo thing i'm not sure why it pulled it in a stereo but it doesn't doesn't really matter um so I now have this track up here that I just recorded myself in. Um, I'm gonna delete that. I don't need that. Here's the track that I that I pulled in. Okay. See Allison, Michael, Lauren, a fantastic head kids and and okay. So this is so this is the audio file. List. Um, and if it's not too big, right? Uh, Audacity works by um, basically selecting and dragging, right? You can also cop, use copy, paste, and cut in the same way you would for anything, okay? So this is your waveform. This is um, where you are. You'll notice if you have the cursor here, you can put that at any point, and then you can click play. Good news, but also some bad news. Right? And it'll play news, from any, some bad news. Uh, it'll, it'll play from wherever you put that cursor, okay? Make sense? Give me some reaction so that I know I'm not like <laughs> talking into the, abyss right <laughs> all right good all right so it's it's pretty straightforward to use all right great thanks hannah um now you may want to let me go back to our um let me go back to this document okay so now you've got your stuff in here okay i told you that it uses drag and drop uses basic copy paste undo commands you might be familiar with very easily okay now one of the first things you're going to need to do you probably will need to cut out some parts of your audio OK, um, like if you make a mistake or something like that, probably need to cut some places out. Right. This is actually really simple. You just want to use that default cursor tool. 
Um, you want to select the part that you don't want, okay? And you just delete it. That's it. <laughs> so I'll show you. Here I am in Audacity. Let's say that there is, let me listen to what's going on here. <laughs> I now like to invite Dr. Kara for COVID. Let's see. Take advantage of them. I know that time is short, right? Um, it has to update something, but uh, okay. So that that part right there is kind of silly. I don't need it, right? I, maybe I made a mistake there, right? I'm going to zoom in on it so that I can see the waveform, okay? And I'm going to go back to these little places that don't have anything. Those are like moments of silence, right? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. So I'm going to delete. Yeah, we, we love to do stuff. I'm going to delete this yeah, stuff. We love to do stuff. Okay, I'm going to grab all of this. I'm just clicking and dragging. And I'm going to delete all of this to the next sort of silence. I've listened to this all, right? I know where I want to cut it, what I want to cut out. I've zoomed in so I can see where the breaks are really easily. If you use the thing, the, the technique like clapping or yelling really loud, you'll see the waveform go up, right? And that'll be helpful for you. Um, so here's the stuff I want to cut out. I've highlighted it. And now I've deleted it. It's gone. That's it, right? <laughs> That's it. You want to play back your um, yeah. Um, okay. So you want to play it back to make sure that that you know it sounds okay, but but it's gone now, right? Maybe I wanted to leave even more of that because it's kind of you know we're not really talking about much of anything. Okay, done. All right. So that's how you um, that's how you cut something that you're not happy with. Right now, you will need to add sounds and other audio. Okay, so how do you do that, right? Really simple, right? Um, you wanna get all of your um, files into Audacity, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing I did to get this file in. I'm gonna go file, import, audio, right? So uh, here I am with my um, waveform and here notice that this is the title that I gave to that file, audio 231, it's an MP3 file, okay? So I'm gonna go and import a couple other things I have an MP3 that I downloaded from CC Mixer on my computer, right? So I'm going to um, grab that. Okay. And I'm just going to search by file type. Um, and I want this one, the Swinging Dutchman. Okay, this is a song, uh, sorry, a piece of music that I, that I thought would make for a cool intro and outro. Okay. So I'm going to open that up. Notice that it's stuck another track here, okay? So now I have two tracks. If I put my cursor here and play it, I'm gonna hear both tracks. Your into Delta. Okay. Um, one of the things you can do over here in this info pane is you can raise and lower the sound. So let me, let's say just for, you know, convenience sake, uh, I wanna show you how to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just lower the sound here in this whole, um, in this track, okay? Sigma Tau Delta. Um, sincerity, truth, design. Okay, so you can hear how that works, right? Really straightforward, right? But I'm gonna put it back into the middle because what I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna mute this one up here so that I don't listen to it for the time being. I'm just gonna mute it, okay? So now I'm only gonna be listening to this one. All right, so now I've got my music, but it's really long, it's, it's quite long. So I just wanna extract a tiny little bit of this. Okay, so I'm gonna make this bigger so I can see it. Right. And I just want to grab the bit at the beginning. All right. So I'm going to put my cursor back here at the beginning. Okay. Oops, wherever the beginning is. All right. Okay. So I'm going to grab all of this from yeah, to maybe maybe here. Okay. This is the only part I want. I'm going to use this both for my intro and my outro. I might actually end up using the bit at the end too, but for the outro, but it's the same song. But I'm going to copy this. I've selected it. I'm just going to hit Command C. I'm going to copy it. Boom, done. All right. What I want to do now is add a track, okay? Because I need to put this into the, the final track, right? It's a stereo. I'm just going to add another stereo one, okay? Here as my cursor and now I'm just going to paste it. Done. Okay. <laughs> and now I want the bit for the outro. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the end, right? Of that, of that piece of music that I grabbed, right? 
wherever it is, here it is, okay? And I want music for my outro, right? So I'm gonna start it here and listen to it. Eh. I don't really like that, you know, but, but so I, I might end up just, I'm just gonna reuse this part, okay? So now I don't need this track anymore. I'm gonna delete it, done. Okay, now I've only got this part here. So now I've got the music for my intro and my outro, right? If I want to um, lower the sound here at the end, maybe I want it to fade out, okay? I'm gonna select a place where I'm gonna start that fade out and I'm just gonna select all the way to the end, okay? And then I'm gonna go up here to effect and I'm gonna click fade out, super simple. And you'll notice how the waveform changes. Okay, so now, if you listen to it, right, it, it disappears, okay? And you can be fancier with this, like you can find better, better cut points, you know, and that sort of thing. Um, but that's how you add a fade out, okay? Now, I want to put this up here. How do I do that, okay? <laughs> All right, well, what I'm going to need to do is actually make a space for it up here. So I'm going to put my cursor here where I want to put the sound effect, right? And I'm going to add a bunch of silence. So I'm going to click generate silence. Okay. And I know because here's the timeline up here one, two, three, these are seconds. Okay. I want to add nine and a half seconds of silence. Right. So I'm going to add nine. Hello. I'm going to add seconds. I'm going to add nine. I think this is 0.9, I want nine seconds, right? Nine seconds. Let's see what this does. Uh, there we go. It's, it's added way too much, right? So I'll have to, I'm gonna make this smaller and uh, I'm gonna zero, I'm gonna make this smaller so I can see what the heck is going on, right? Okay. So you can see everything got smooshed. It, it made too much silence, but that's fine. Easy peasy, I'm just gonna cut a bunch of it, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna delete it. That's all you need to do, right? Um, I'll delete some more, all right? And now I'm gonna make this bigger so I can see where I am again. Okay, I wanna go back to the beginning, all right? It's still too much, but you know, that's fine. I'm gonna grab some more and delete it just so that I can see right where I am. I'm just deleting all of the silence that I added until I get back to my waveform. So now I see basically where I am. I want to grab this, copy it. Oops. I'm going to grab all of this. Right? Command A. That, that does everything, right? Just grab all of this, copy it. And now I'm going to put my cursor up here at the beginning because remember, this is my intro music. And I'm going to paste it. That's it. Right? <laughs> and now I can actually copy this and put it at the end as well, right? So there we go, right? Um, the other thing you could do though, is just um, keep your audio that you're adding, right? In a different track, right? So instead of adding it all up here at once, you can keep it in different tracks just to kind of, um, you know, note where you are, to help you note where you are, right? Um, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like now too. So I've just added a little bit of silence, okay? And so now I've got silence here while this piece is going, right? And then the same thing at the end, right? Let's say I wanna add here my outro music. And so now I've got a track here that is just intro and outro, and I can even rename it, right? right. And now when I play, when I play this, doesn't it, it'll play both of the tracks and you'll hear what I mean. There's the intro. Do, 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 do. Welcome to my podcast. Today we're here with blah, 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 talking about. I'll have to fix that because there's a big gap and there. So this is okay. the Sigma Tau Delta. All right. Um, so now I've got two tracks. Now I can see where everything is. Okay. But maybe I need to now add a bit of other video. Maybe I have another audio clip, right? I did an interview with someone or I found this really cool YouTube video that had a bit of discussion. Okay you wanna get an MP3 of that, right? And import it in, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. This is also in the, um, the, the uh, 
how to create with Audacity, right? Um, so you'll need, like I said, you need to move a zoom to add silence and so on, to add fade in or fade out. Um, so now I'm down here to get an audio from YouTube. Okay, let's say I found this really cool YouTube video that talks about um, the history of the Belgian Congo. Okay, and I want to use a bit of it in my podcast on Heart of Darkness. Right, so I have this video. I'm going to go to this website. Okay, I don't know why it's not a live link. I think it's because I didn't put space. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go to this website, right, which is a YouTube uh, converter. It will convert to MP3. Right? I'm going to go grab my um, uh, my YouTube, okay, um, video address. Here we go. This is the video that I want to use. Sorry, that's not on YouTube. It has to be on YouTube. Um, that's okay. Uh, here it is. The same thing on YouTube. Okay. Writing's not that easy. But it's kind of annoying. You have to listen to these ads. Is grammatically correct. Okay. So here's my video. I want to grab a little portion of the audio here. I've already listened to it. I'm going to click the share button, copy that URL. Okay, done. And now I'm just going to go back to my um, conversion website. I'm going to paste that link in there. Okay, so that's the link to the YouTube. I've selected MP3 and now I'm going to click convert. So it's going to take a little bit of time to do this, depending on how long your um, your video is. Okay, it's going to convert it, and then it will give you the option to download. Okay, so you download it, which I already did. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Audacity, and when that's finished, I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm going to import that that audio. I'm going to go File, Import. Sorry, Import Audio. Okay, and um, I found that it's an MP3. Um, and I, I, if you save it to the right places, you won't have to do this kind of weird thing that I'm doing right now, but you know. So here's the video, here's the audio. Danger of a Single Story by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This, was the vi this is the audio from that YouTube video. So I wanna pull this in. And there we go. So this, you can tell, this is really long, okay? You wanna listen to it, figure out the place that you wanna cut. And, for many, oh, and remember, and for many you wanna mute the places. But that is another story. What the unintended consequence was that I did not know that people like me could exist in literature. Okay. So what the discovery of African writers did for me was this. It saved me okay. from having a... All right. So this is the part that I want to extract. I've zoomed in, right? And... I come from a conventional... And I want to find the place teacher. where... It starts. So what the okay. So I want this part here. What the discovery of African literature over to this part here. Okay. So there's the bit that I want. All right. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put it up here in my um, in my intro, outro, my extra audio spaces. Okay? I'm going to paste it. You'll notice that it will, I believe, yeah, it will move right, um, the, the whatever audio you have, right? So you have to go back and, you know, cut that out if you want um, to make it tight, okay? So now I've got this here. I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna delete it, okay? And now I've got, um, you know, the little clip I wanna engage here. Now, if I wanna, if I know I wanna put it there, right? I may need to cut some of this out, right? Um, so wherever you wanna put it, you want to add some silence. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to generate some silence. And I don't want two hours. I don't really know why this is. I think I feel like I need to figure this out. I don't want nine, nine point nine seconds. Let's just try that nine seconds. All right. Oh, OK, good. That's much better. So um, I need to add a little bit more because that's clearly not going to fit. Right. It's pretty straightforward. OK, I want to add. Um, Oh, awesome. If you highlight the area, you mean? In in Audacity? Yeah, if you go to the top track and highlight the area that you want to silence, there's mm -hmm. a um, silence button. It's right beside the clipboard. Oh, not, right. Not that one, but the second one after the clipboard. This one, yeah. Yep. Yeah, but notice what that does is it doesn't add any time, right? So it'll silence that, but it won't add any time. And see how this is bigger? 
if I copy this, let's see what happens actually, because I can just do copy and replace. I'm gonna, I wanna put it here in my main track just to make sure that it's there. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, good. It just it just inserts. So you can just copy and paste and it'll insert. It won't overwrite. That's fantastic. Okay, great. So there it is. The other thing though that you can do if you don't want to put it all in one track because it can get complicated. Okay. If you want to keep all of your additions here in this track, then what you would do is simply add silence. Okay. For this space. Right. And then you can you can put this in. The silence, right? So that it, um, you know, so, so that it doesn't overlap. Okay. And maybe I don't need all of this, right? So you can see how it kind of fits, right? In the, with the waveform, right? So that's one way to do it. Right? Maybe I need to move this over just a little bit. All right, great. And so now when you're, when you're playing this, you'll be listening to your voice and then you'll, then you'll introduce the clip, right? Oops, I muted this. About the history um, of Sigma Tau Delta, it is uh, the International English Honor Society. It was founded in 19. As we know from this clip. Okay. So what the discovery right. of Africa and then we get the clip for me was this. It saved. All right. And there are ways to finesse this, right? To make that, you know, just less, um, to make that less visible, right? But once you've got everything the way you want it, you can, you can mix it together or you can just stick it up here like uh, Pierre was pointing out, okay? And like we saw earlier. So now let's say hypothetically, I've got everything done, right? I've listened to it again. Um, the sound sounds, sounds good, right? I'm ready to go with it. Um, you want to export it. So I'm going to click export and I'm going to export it as an MP3. Uh, and it's going to want to mix everything down, right? Um, so it's going to take both of these tracks, I believe, right? You want to listen to it and make sure that's the case, right? And you want to call it, you know, my podcast or give it a title, right? Um, MP3. Uh, where are you going to save it to? Okay, preset, variable, bitrate mode. Just ignore all of this stuff. Doesn't really matter. Okay. If you want to force it to export to mono, if you have one track that's a mono, then you, I would force it to export to a mono. Um, yeah, Valdir. Uh, uh, where are you going to put this recording so I can go back and forth? Uh, this recording, I'll post it to our um, Zoom uh, recorded recorded spaces. Okay. Thank you. On Canvas. Yeah, that's a great question. So, um, so then all you do is you click save, right? Your tracks will be mixed down and exported as one file. Fine, that's exactly what I want. So it's going to combine these two tracks. I'm going to click OK, and you know you put your name in here. So whose group is this? Give yourself credit, right? Um, when you if you were to import this into SoundCloud, it would it would appear there. If you want to, um, if you if you pull it into your um, iTunes account or whatever, it'll appear there and so on. So put your names up here, or at least the title of the book you're working with. Give your podcast title, you know, title a name, and so on, right? Um, and then you click OK. Right? That's just metadata. You don't have to do it. And now it's exporting. Right. And then it's going to export and you will be left with an MP3 file of your podcast. And that's what you upload to Canvas. Right. Um, one thing I do want to note is that, you know, if the editing process can take some time because you kind of have to listen and, and say, oh, wait a minute, that's not the place that I wanted to do. You might have to go back and so on. Um, that's why making sure you have a good script and you get a, a pretty clean recording in the first place is going to be really, really helpful because you can see how just, you know, fiddly this could get. All right. Um, I don't want it to be fiddly. So if you plan on the front end to have fewer, you know, sort of places to cut and mix and mistake, mistakes to edit, then you'll be, you'll be much, it'll, this process will be much easier. Okay. It's not hard to begin with, but uh, like, here's my audio. Um, I want to stick this up here if, if that makes it easier. And then you can kind of see where everything is in one track. Right. But it's just copy and and paste, right? Just like uh, everything else is in life, right? <laughs> Copying and pasting, and then you can delete the extra silence up here if that helps, right? So, um, so I kind of like to do some initial editing work on two different tracks, okay? Just so that I can see 
where how things kind of line up. And that way I don't have to worry about, you know, um, overwriting something or missing something. Okay. But then once you're ready to go, it's simple enough either to just mix it down or to just copy all of the stuff that is here, right? And pop it up in the main, the main space, right? And then just delete any extra silence that is that's visible there, right? So you have a good, you know, clean piece of, of audio. Okay. And then you can just delete that, right? So um so those are the basics of, of audacity. It is it there is a little bit of a learning curve right, as I think Pierre mentioned earlier and Zach mentioned earlier, but it's pretty easy to use, okay? The only thing that might be a bit of a struggle is um, getting your uh, audio converted, right? And then, you know, being able to sort of learn how to read these waveforms a little bit. You can you can sort of tell, right, that the lot louder things are taller and, and more quiet things are smaller. <laughs> Right. I don't want to show right. So there's somebody laughing and um, it might have been me. <laughs> and you can tell that's uh, that's a, a loud point, right? Um, these are smaller points. And I will flip to the name of the members. Okay. Um, and so that can be challenging just to kind of figure out where things are, right? Um, but that is a pretty good, I think, general overview of Audacity. Uh, and I do just want to make sure that I'm not miss. Okay, so here's the here's the download. If you have a YouTube video that you want to download, you'll see um, a couple things here. Do not click these big giant red and green buttons here. Okay, see it says advertising underneath that. Don't click those. Okay, <laughs> you want to stay up here. Click download. All right, and that will download it. Boom to your downloads file wherever you wanted wherever you said you wanted to put it. Um, and there it is. And it'll take you to this, you know, um, ad thing. So you can just click out of that, right? That's how the world goes around. Just be savvy about it, okay? Do not click anything that's giant, big buttons that say play now, right? <laughs> Usually they look like this. Don't, don't ever click them ever. That's just a little life pro tip from me to you, okay? <laughs> um, all right. So, um, so that's just a brief intro to Audacity, right? Um, we have half an hour left in class. Um, I want to take a little bit of time to hear your questions if you're working through your process right now and you have questions on it. Um, and then I will just put you back into your groups or let you go and work on your project on your own. Okay. Um, any questions I can answer for you? Anything you're trying to do or you want to know how to do and you don't know how to do it? 